Uh, good evening. It's Cigar Saturday live on a Sunday. On a here Sunday. With Maddie Rock, John Foster. We're here at Dun and Foster Farm in Ellington, Connecticut. We've just wrapped up Barn Smoker and Connecticut 2022. Yeah. Another fantastic event. Yes. We need to see you guys and gals if you haven't been here. Um, and what's the real beauty, as I've said a million times, of doing these barn smokers? It's the appreciation of finding out where the tobacco for your cigar actually comes from. And lo and behold, you'll see Mr. Fisher smoking a T52. T52. And just a little bit. Not just because of the T52 and Drew Estate, yeah. but you wouldn't have any of this if it wasn't for the owner of the farm. Mr. John Foster, right. there's a very, very rich history. He's Thank gonna you talk guys. to you a little bit about yes. 400 years of his family agriculture. Yes. My family came from England back in the 1600s, um, a agricultural family for 300 plus years. And uh, we've been growing tobacco with Drew Estate since uh, 2006. Uh, we've been working on all kinds of new projects along with the old projects. And uh, this is Liga country. This is where Liga Pravada comes from. And uh, we, we grow the wrapper right here in Ellington, Connecticut. So uh, we're very happy to have all the consumers, all the shop owners, all the bloggers, and especially Drew Estate and all the yes. fans. This is, this is exactly what we wanna do. We wanna open the curtain and show people this is where the best tobacco in the world comes from, right yes. here in Connecticut River Valley. And, what may, and obviously I know it's, it's, it's the history, it's the terroir, talk about what makes it uh, it's just so delicious because it is. Yeah, so I'm um, the best areas of the world. There's only a few of them are either a glacial soil or a volcanic soil. Okay. And the Connecticut River Valley is a glacial, uh, the glacier carb, the Connecticut River Valley, and that's wow. where some of the minerals, the microclimate, and everything comes from. That's what makes the Connecticut tobacco so special. That's what makes Liga Bravada so special. Excellent. And the soil right here is going to be so much different from what's even not too far from here, right? That's correct, because um, the, the valley has its own microclimate, and that microclimate is part of the secret sauce that makes uh, this region so special. I mean, it, it, it's a region that only there's only a few places in the world that are like the Connecticut River Valley. So this Liga Pravada T52, the wrapper, came from right here. Yeah, this right is here. T52 yeah. wrapper right here. Right here, yeah, this is I it. mean, these right barns and right here, that's T T52 wrapper. We're about to be harvesting it within days. Mm. So uh, we have a vintage crop going so far. So we're crossing our fingers every single day to make sure that things are gonna go right with the harvest and uh, the whole process. So we're, we're excited for this year. Yeah. And it's one of those wait, but there's more. Not just T52s come off of this farm. John, tell them what we got. So <laughs> what we have, we're just finishing up the harvest on the H99 tobacco and the Liga 10 tobacco is already in the barn. So that is looking exceptional. There's a lot of body, there's a lot of oil in the tobacco. So we're very excited for that. And we're also uh, harvesting the Liga 9 tobacco. That's been going on and we're gonna be continuing throughout August and September. So now when you hear that league of horse, now you really have a, a comprehensive understanding of where this comes from. If you've never done a barn smoker, come out here, come visit the farm with us, enjoy all the different experientials that we have that help bring this all together and bring together everybody as a family, really. Yes, yes, so many good people here this weekend from across the East Coast, from across the country. I was very from honored to be country. here from Kentucky, all over the place, experiences with all the, uh, the different Drew Estate brands. And again, you're seeing the tobacco field right here and just as you come onto this farm, John, I get this, this is a real sense of history. I mean, these some of these barns look like they've they've been around for a while. They had that 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 energy. I just, I just yeah, knew right some, away it was old. Some of the barns know? are almost a hundred years old. Wow. We have some so that are beautiful. sixty years old. We have some that are only ten years old. Yeah. But uh, the history in, of tobacco in Connecticut goes back hundreds of years, and uh, it's a very special area. It was realized back in the eighteen hundreds that. Connecticut is a very special area because tobacco was grown everywhere, but Connecticut became tobacco central because of that special climate, that special soil, and the seeds that we've we've uh, we've developed. And I think John said it best, kind of like yeah. talk about the Napa Valley for wine. This is the Napa Valley for tobacco. That's probably right. One of the yeah. best ways to Yeah, I mean, it. it's it's basically like Tuscany or Napa Valley. This is a very special area of the of the world. In, uh, in, in tobacco. 
and the time that you, you you and your team take to actually harvest this. I mean, you were telling me earlier, rather than getting a couple leaves, they get single leaves. How does that work? So we stock cut the tobacco. Okay. We cut the whole plant at one time. Uh, the upper leaves is what we're, we're basically uh, centralized on. That's where the best wrapper is going to come from. We cut the whole plant and we stock cure it in the barn. And be, by being stock cured, the energy of the stock keeps going into the leaf and creates all that oil, all that grease, all that, that shine that you get when you look at a wrapper that was Connecticut Valley tobacco. You can see that just on yep, the wrapper. That's exactly that. that. So what do you, get? you ask about that sheen on the wrapper. Yeah. Now you understand where and now you understand why. Yeah. So again, you just got a quick history lesson on this. Like I said, many blessings. Also, other things you do at the barn smoker. We'll have our fine cameraman do a quick pan around yeah. all the experientials. Yes, this, so, look at these exp yeah, Everything the experientials. from getting a, a shave and a haircut to airbrushing to t shirts to bikes. Uh, Cocktails, like said, bourbon, food. The barbecue was amazing this weekend. Absolutely. Yeah, John, you just got a nice haircut and a shave. Yeah. Look at, look at yep. Haircut yeah. and a shave. He's, he's and smooth. it's a cigar and, uh, and bourbon pairing, and, uh, you know, phenomenal. And a beautiful weather this week, and you really can't beat it. And again, uh, really a pleasure to be here at Dunn and Foster Farm. Yes, and, and thank you all for. We're going to get Pete on here uh, to yep. talk about cigars. So I'm going to do a quick. For I'm going to do a quick tag in. So okay, you may know in. him as the angry Italian midget, <laughs> but really he's one of the help driving forces behind That's cigars right. for warriors. Oh, man. Right. So yes. we're going to do a quick tap in. I'm going to give you a little video. Come on, you little bastard. All right, get in here, Pete. <laughs> Hey, you and hey, so good to see you this weekend. You all raised some what great a, money. What a what a wonderful weekend. Yeah. You know, thank you, John, for hosting us, hosting this three day event. You yes. know, it was just amazing. Scores for Warriors, we raised thirty two thousand yes. dollars. Countless cigars. I we couldn't count them yet, but thirty two thousand dollars just this weekend. Just this weekend 32, to 000. ship those cigars to our combat oh, our yes. troops and combat zones all over the world. An incredible um, cause. Incredible. Yeah. So www.cigarsforwarriors.net. Go on there, donate cigars, donate cash to help ship those cigars to our troops in combat zones all over the world. They want a little piece of home, and that cigar gives it to them. Freedom is not free. That's it right. Thank not our warriors. Giving them something special. Yeah. That's something well, they always you. ask for, right? They yeah. always want cigars. Always so, want cigars. So, guys and gals, with yeah. that said, remember, there's two more barn smokers to be had. We have Kentucky coming up and Savage Feast in Texas, www.barnsmoker.com. Come check it out. Come really enjoy this one of a, you know, one of a lifetime experience that we're able to do in these farms and see how you get a finished product, have that camaraderie and do all these experientials. So much love from uh, Ellington, Connecticut. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for supporting the Connecticut River Valley. Yes. Yes. I appreciate Cheers. you guys. One love.